Hello everyone, welcome to Black Money Daily, economic news from our point of view. We release a podcast every weekday at lunchtime, so don't forget to subscribe. And now, here is the news. Last night, the 10K Project welcomed economist Dr. Sharif Phillips to our weekly Zoom call to discuss the topic, Is There Any Hope for Black America? Here's a small snippet of that discussion. Um, one, the, the primary way to get out of any recession is to spend your way out. And so you will either, either the government sector will spend us through uh, incentives and, and stimulus, they'll spend us out, um, households will spend us out, or business or the business sector will spend us out. Preferably, you want all three participants working together to spend us out. That way we can quickly get out of, out of the, uh, the recessionary portion or the trough of the business cycle. What we've seen recently is that when the government and households work together, we get out a whole lot quicker than when the business it, um, include, comes in, primarily because um, just through policy, businesses are more likely to hoard and save when they are given the opportunity to spend, they'll hoard and save, and they will say, share, increase shareholder value and you know those kinds of terms to, to not make the investments in terms of wages, not make investment in terms of um, equipment and putting back into the business so that it would help grow the economy. To hear the entire discussion of the things that we as individuals can do to strengthen the community as a whole, and the other pieces of information that Dr. Cherie Phillips gave us, you can click on the show notes and visit our YouTube page for this enlightening conversation. Unity National Bank of Houston, the only African-American owned bank in Texas, has announced that Bank of America has acquired approximately 5% of its common equity. The investment will facilitate benefits to the communities that Unity National Bank of Houston serves through lending, housing, neighborhood revitalization, and other banking services. The investment is part of Bank of America's focus on investing $50 million in direct equity investments in minority depository institutions as part of a broader $1 billion four-year commitment to advance racial equality and economic opportunity. Let's talk about Google. Google has announced on Tuesday that its G Suite group of productivity apps, including Gmail, will be rebranded as Google Workspace, and we're going to get more pricing tiers. The changes might help Google increase revenue and become a more formidable challenger to Microsoft, whose Office 365 applications are more popular for business use. Any growth could lift Google's cloud business, which, in, uh, which reduces Google's dependence on its advertising business, which fell in the second quarter under the pressure of a pandemic and a recession. I, for example, was surprised to find out that Microsoft remains dominant in the email and document authoring software market with 87.6% share as of 2019. Although Google Drive and Gmail are widely used, the company has not been able to replicate that success inside of companies, schools, and nonprofits. Google previously tried branding changes to boost its business pro uh, products before, but we'll see if this rebranding works. And today's show is sponsored by the 10K Project. We have an upcoming event, how to create a powerful brand identity, on Tuesday, October 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. You can visit the10kproject.com to register. There is no charge to attend. All right, let's talk about big banks because they are predicting meager profits on PPP loans. The banks that were um, the largest lenders under the Paychecks Protection Program handing out government-backed loans and collecting the fee from taxpayers for their trouble, now say their expenses were so high that they expect to make next to nothing on these loans. The reason? Some banks are already saying their profits will be eaten up by the costs they incurred to make the program work, including all-nighters 
and rush technology projects during four frenzied months of lockdown and business closures. Other banks, including smaller lenders, expect the revenue from the program to pad their profits. We believe this is a valuable lesson, the lesson of being mean, lean, and ready for opportunity. For example, I have a client who changed from a big bank to a small bank simply because a small bank was able to give him a PPP loan. And so many others are seeing the same thing. So it's time for us as a people to perhaps consider banking small. Just a thought. Here's an activity that's being upended uh, by the pandemic this year, and that is trick-or-treating. That's right. Given the highly infectious nature of COVID-19, it's not the safest idea to go door to door with the kids to collect Halloween treats. So how are parents combating this? Some companies are delivering the treats to your doorstep. It's called a quote unquote, boo bag, B-O-O. -O. Boo bags are a Halloween trend that have gained some traction in suburban neighborhoods in recent years. Families fill up bags with Halloween treats and leave them anonymously in front of neighbors or friends' stores. The idea is that the recipient of the bag has been quote unquote booed and must now quote unquote boo someone else with a surprise trick or treat bag. Retailers like CVS, Target, and others are promoting boo bags this year as COVID-19 cases tick up in much of the country. I'm looking for Black businesses who are doing the same thing. Email us at info at the 10K Project and we'll shout you out over the Halloween season if you are doing boo bags or anything to help us have safer trick or treating experiences. Now here's another fun story for us, teens. Teen spending has hit an all time low during the coronavirus pandemic. This is according to Piper Jaffrey's 40th biannual quote unquote, taking stock with teens report. They surveyed 9,800 consumers with an average age just under 16 from 48 states. And these teenagers have an average household income of $67,500. Teens reported spending about $2,150 this year, according to report. Sorry, according to the report. Though overall food spending declined, males still devote the most, about 21% of their wallets to food, according to the survey. That's followed by video games and clothing. Females devote the most, 27% of their wallets to clothing, followed by food and personal care. 48% of teens said they believe the economy is getting worse, so they're getting cost conscious and tightening up as well. Every Tuesday is Career Tuesday, and here is a quick career tip for you. Find the Jada to your Latifa. That's right. A lot of people talk about how developing friendships at work can improve your personal life. But these relationships can also have a huge impact on your career path and success. Just look at the actresses Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah. They're close friends who also push each other to achieve amazing things in their respective careers. Friends that you, um, sorry, uh, both of you can have pro uh, professional and personal relationships with each other so that you can help each other when you have big career challenges. If you're doing something you've never done before, you can lean on that friend to improve your ideas, get feedback, help you with messaging and strategy. If there's no one in your company who can be your Latifa, for example, then start networking in your industry, but you gotta find people. Your network determines your net worth and people with work friends are never unemployed for long. So instead of thinking of your work friends as just companions for the upcoming happy hours that we're going to eventually have again, seek out peers at work who can challenge you, who can help you learn, and who think differently than you do. Just because someone's a peer at your company doesn't mean you can't learn a ton from them. Finding your Jada or Latifa 
who can give you honest, constructive feedback and champion your efforts is incredibly valuable to your career growth. And that's our podcast for today. We'd love to hear your comments about today's topics. Dr. Phillips talked about business spending being the least likely to help us out of a recession. Have you found this to be true? What do you think of Unity National Bank of Houston's cash infusion from Bank of America? Are you going to give Google Workspace a try? Are you changing the way you are trick-or-treating this year? Do you have a work BFF that pushes you personally and professionally? Don't forget about our webinar discussing how to create a powerful brand identity. It's Tuesday, October 6th at 1 p.m. You can visit the10kproject.com to register. And tell us what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend or two about Black Money Daily.